There you go. Oh. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It's like... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, this is a good start to the video. Hello. 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 Welcome back to Squirrel's Bookshelf, and today we have an extra special guest, my mom. So this is Mama Squirrel. This is my mom all the way from Nevada. It's, it's important you say Nevada and never Nevada. It's not Nevada. If you're British, so all of my British friends and family, you can't actually sort of get away with it. Because well, it's, well, we'll get it so straight. Part of your accent, but yeah, <laughs> don't don't go and say Nevada. We will not like you. <laughs> but we're gonna have a little bit of fun today because I have a lot of stuff that you brought in a nice big suitcase, which is over there. So basically, I'm very lucky in that I live in the UK, but I still have a home in the US if I decide to buy things, especially books in the US. I can send them to my parents' house and save a bit on shipping, and then usually, we see each other a few times a year, so we just take turns bringing a suitcase full of my stuff over. But it's been a while, because it's been a while. I thought we'd do a fun little unhauling of items from the States, and there are going to be a lot of books, but also a lot of Halloween stuff. It is Halloween today. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yep. And uh, so a lot of Halloween stuff and a lot of other fun goodies, and we'll just, we'll just see where we go. But before we get started, if you'd like to become part of our squirrely, nerdy, bookish community, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. Let's get going. All right. What have you got for me? Well, in this big, giant suitcase, we're going to start with the little, tiny thing. There you go. Oh, it's still wrapped. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what did they pack this with? What is that? I don't know. It's like... Let's get over there. Oh, oh my old. goodness. Okay, this is a good start to the video. Ah, yes. This is a little Charles Dickens book. It's called The Haunted Man and the Ghost's Bargain, and it's one of Charles Dickens' five Christmas stories. The one that's best known as The Christmas Carol. This is an early printing of one of the other Christmas books, and I'm sort of collecting them. Okay, okay. what's ne next? Next, let's see what's in the magic red Dusty suitcase. Myself. Okay, there it is. Ah, yes. Another book, The Little Engine That Could. <gasps> It's one of my favorite ones when I was growing up. Yeah. Mine was like a rectangular and it was orange. This one will be coming up in um, a Disney video. Okay, off to a good start. This is like opening Christmas presents. <laughs> Christmas at Halloween, my favorite. Okay, eyes closed. This is a copy of The Wind in the Willows. This one is special to me because it is the edition of Wind in the Willows featured in the film Matilda. And I have quite a collection of books that are featured in the film Matilda. It's one of my favorite childhood films. Um, and I will be doing a video on that shortly. All right. Ready for the magic red suitcase again? Magic red suitcase. <laughs> Some of these I've completely forgotten what I bought. It's been so long. Hey, you're gonna like this one. Sure hope so. I, I think I bought it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Ah! Okay, sorry. So this is Moby Dick. This is yet another Matilda copy. This is actually the one at the end of the film that sort of floats over to her bed with Miss Honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Have you ever read Moby Dick? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, well, I plan to. Well, I've, I've heard, heard it. I've heard it's good. Well, I have, a, I have something to add to this, actually. Oh. A grandma of Judy. She's from New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And apparently it's kind of about that area because it's a whaling town. And we went by this church that they said that that's where the characters mm -hmm. that went to this church. And I think okay, he's and I think he's from that area too, I think. Herman Melville? I yeah. think. I'm not hundred percent sure. It's, it's nicely done. Really? I've been looking for a copy of this for quite a while now. Yeah. You're gonna like this one. <gasps> This is a very early copy of A Little Princess, and it's in the same binding as the first edition came in. Love this book. I love the film too, but I did read this book as a kid, I think in fourth grade? You've read this too, right? Uh, yes, yes, yep. a couple of times, yes, yeah. one no, of my favorites. I don't actually necessarily have plans for this. I just really like it. Okay, ready? The Great Locomotive Chase. This is another book I bought for my Disney series. Walt Disney did make a live action film. Haven't quite dug into that one yet, but this is one of the upcoming 
Disney videos I oh, really? to do. But it actually was originally published under a different title, but I got this specific copy because there is a shot of Walt Disney holding up this copy. Then I ran across the book in the family library called The Great Locomotive Chase. I have a, a little collection of books where I have a photo of Walt Disney holding that book. For instance, I've got like this copy of Alice in Wonderland. There's also one of like this Dumbo book that he's holding. So at some point I want to put together a little display. You right. Moving on. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this one for a while. So this is the boy mechanic. It's it's falling apart a little bit, but I think I'll uh, I'll be able to put <laughs> I'll be able to put that back together. I may actually do a repair video showing you guys how we do that. There's actually a series of these books, and I bought a set of all four, but I, I think you only brought the one yep. for now. Um, but this is an interesting book for any Disneyland, specifically Haunted Mansion lovers out there, because this book has some information regarding the Pepper's Ghost illusion, mm -hmm. and an Imagineer actually owned this book. He was flipping through it and came across the Pepper's Ghost, and that was, that gave the inspiration for the entire ballroom scene yep. in the Haunted Mansion. At some point down the line, I am going to do an entire book related but Haunted Mansion themed video. Wow. It's going to correspond with the updoing of our bedroom, which is going to be Haunted Mansion themed. But there are a good few books that I can weave into the story eventually, probably in a year or so. Right. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Ivanhoe! This is another one of my Matilda books. The three that I've pulled out are sort of the three that are the most featured in Matilda. So this is the one where when Matilda asks if she can go to school, I believe, she runs back to her room because her parents are horrible. And she starts crying and you see a teardrop fall onto the page of, of Ivanhoe. You're gonna have to have a whole, another whole shelf of just Matilda books. Yes, I, I was actually thinking at some point of getting a little red wagon, you know, she pulls oh, a little yeah, red wagon yeah. of yeah. the books from the library yeah. and just sticking it sort of in the corner of the That'd library with all the Matilda books. That'd be really just cute. have to find a red wagon now. <gasps> yes! I shouldn't be this excited for everything, but I am because I bought these all ages ago and I'm only finally getting them now. So this is an issue of Cosmopolitan magazine. It's an edition that relates to Disney history. This is the February edition from 1945, and it has a story called Happy Dan the Cynical Dog by Ward Green. Do you know what that's the original story um, for? No, but I've heard the name. <laughs> no, it's a, a Disney animated film about dogs. The film had Peggy Lee singing one of the famous Oh, songs. Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp, yeah. yeah. Walt Disney read the story, really liked it, contacted the author and wanted to create a film about it. But this is where it all started. Oh, so wow. that will definitely be when I get to Lady and the Tramp in my Disney series. Okay, another Cosmopolitan, since it's slightly falling apart. This is another issue of Cosmopolitan magazine, September 1930. And this has a short story in it called Bongo, and that was made into one of the featurettes in one of the package films. Fun and fancy free, I think. But yeah, it's the original short from this, but it was written by Sinclair Lewis, who's oh, yeah. a famous American Sinclair. author. So that, there you are. She's gonna like this one. Yes! The Reluctant Dragon. This was a film that was made by Walt Disney that very few people know about actually, but um, it was made right after Fantasia. But it was one of the early films that they sort of showed around the Walt Disney Studios. Oh, and really? within it, they sort of added hints of upcoming films like Dumbo and Bambi. So this book was released as a companion to the film when it came out. And it looks very, very similar to the book that Robert Benchley actually carries around with him as he's searching this, the studios for Walt Disney. So it's a, it's a picture book published by Disney. And this is of course based on the short story by And this is, of course, <laughs> based on the short story by Kenneth Graham, who's the same author as The Wind in the Willows. Oh, okay. It was within a, a collection called Dream Days. Simply exquisite. <laughs> I love the dragons. If you haven't seen The Reluctant Dragon, it is on Disney Plus if you have Disney Plus. But the dragon is wonderful and very flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> I like this magic suit. I thought he might. You know, we just watched Halloween Town. It's at like Grandma Aggie's little carpet bag that just, things just keep popping out. There you go. Oh yes! 
Again, forgot I got this. This is actually from a specific production of Pinocchio. This production, if I'm not mistaken, is a production that the Walt Disney artists actually went and saw. Oh. They say that there were elements of this show that actually were more of an inspiration to the Disney film of Pinocchio than the book actually was. Oh, wow. We've seen a little show that they did uh, the backstory and it was quite dark, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the author of Pinocchio actually got so tired of his character that he hanged him from a tree. And that was supposed to be the end, because he did it as a serial in a little children's newspaper in Italy. And um, he just got tired of it, and so he's like, I'm just gonna kill him off, basically. But he couldn't do that because all the kids really loved the story, so they started just pummeling him with letters going, you can't stop, what happened to Pinocchio? So eventually he picked it back up and, and continued the story, so Pinocchio didn't die. And, and Thank so. goodness. <laughs> okay, hands. <gasps> yes. Okay, so this, I mean, this is a book, but it's not a book, it's a journal. So in America, there's this wonderful store called the Spirit Store, Spirit Halloween. Spirit! Spirit is a store that takes over unused buildings, so if a store is just closed down or something, they usually move into it during the Halloween season, and they have amazing stuff. I do very much miss the Spirit Stores. Especially this year, they came out with some amazing things from the Haunted Mansion, from Nightmare Before Christmas, and from Hocus Pocus, which are all my favorites. And so in the Haunted Mansion line this year, they came out with this journal, which has this lovely like 3D plaque, which is the plaque from the ride. And my sister actually picked this up for me. And I think there are a few more goodies in yes. the red suitcase from Spirit. Welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And you, you were a maid there for... I was? For a little bit? Yes, she used to scare people going in that stretchy mirror. Don't scare people, creep people out. There you we go. We weren't allowed to scare, but we were allowed to creep. <laughs> so I would just stare at people. Until they ran away screaming. Oh, I did not buy this. So my sister Kelly still works at Disneyland, actually. So yeah, she picked this up from the park, and it's a 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. That's very cute. Isn't that I'll cute? Just thank her for that, because I was not expecting that one. So do you want to continue with the Halloween thing? Because you have, I found another That's one. fine. Today is Halloween, so. Today is works. Halloween, so I, I especially like this one. Oh, yes. We, okay, we did already get this out. This, um. That, that works better, yeah. This is a little decoration from Hocus Pocus, and it's the old burial hill, which is the, the cemetery in the film. It's the gates with the little silhouettes of the sisters, and gravestones, and Binks the cat, and little bats and things. And it's, it's just a really cute decoration, also from the Spirit Halloween store. I did know about this one. This is so exciting. This okay. is like two years worth of yes, Christmas, yes. but Halloween themes. Okay. Yes! The Sanderson's Museum of Witchcraft, Salem, Massachusetts. By the way, they did film most of that um, in Salem, Massachusetts. We got to go on the tour. Oh, yeah, of, you did, didn't you? Yes, we got to Just. go on the tour of almost every place that was in the film, including the the White House. Well, I want to go to Salem so bad. Yes, I love yes. witches. Ah. Okay, I already got a bunch of this. This so, is the bottom. Which, okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready? Go. Hey! <laughs> It's the magic carpet from Aladdin. Oh. It's sort of like a throw. It's a throw, yes. Beautiful. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. splendid. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> See, I forgot we even had these as a kid until you dug them out. They're just little figurines from my childhood, from the Page Master, which if you have not seen, I definitely recommend it. Oh, absolutely. If you're a book nerd, it's a film about books, part live action, part animation, and it's got Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. Fantasy, the little book fantasy, is voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Adventure is voiced by Patrick Stewart. I can't remember who horror is, but he's my favorite. He's apparently meant to be if a hardback and a paperback had a child, um, <laughs> but he's also afraid of everything. So we got the three little books, and then we also have Richard Tyler the Kid and the Page Master himself. I just recently we found them, and I used to show uh, them to my class when I was teaching because it was such a wonderful 
talking about all different kinds of books and how you can get immersed in it. So I like... love the Page Master. In fact, there's also a book. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so they actually made a book along with the film as well. The illustrations are very different than, than the, oh, really? the film, so it's kind of like a whole new experience. Oh wow. It's a really nice book. I only discovered this book recently. I may have a video in the future that is Page Master themed. Ooh. I have a cool. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. Right. Okay. That's a very good wand box. Oh, it is a wand. I didn't buy this. Did she... Kelly buy this for me? I don't know. <gasps> okay, if you did, Kelly, thank you. It's the wand of Nymphador Tonks, who is oh. my second favorite character. Luna Lovegood's my favorite. That's very exciting. Get to add some. That's exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I'll add that to my, my Harry Potter magical cabinet. Oh, that's, that's really nice. nice. Okay, I am starting to remember now at one point she might have asked me. So maybe she was going to Universal or something. Not that's possible. Oh, book. A little book. Book. Uh, oh my goodness. That's paperback. That's Lolita. It is. Volume 2. I managed to snag Volume 1 in the UK, but I found a cheap copy of Volume 2 in the States. That's why I sent it to you. This is... Lolita. Oh, yeah, so this is volume one, which I already had here. This is volume two. So this was released in two volumes like this. So this was originally published in France. Mm -hmm. And the only publisher who would publish the story was a publisher who generally published sort of... Yeah. Risqué. Risqué. Very risqué. Yes. But they were the only ones that, that would publish it, and then it became a huge hit. The sort of way these are designed, the paperbacks, is actually just the generic style of the books from that publisher, so all of their books look like this. I actually have another book, as you can see. It's oh, yeah. another just sort of green, plain, yeah, similar things that are slightly different years, but um, yeah, so this was just released as just another one of these sort of wow. things for a, a certain clientele. That finishes that off at least, so now I can get going on that Bend Books video. Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> and this is, this is mine. It just, just brought it over. And went some the filmings. Oh yeah! If you don't know, this is from the Big Bang Theory. But we did, we got to go to the filming of one of the episodes. It was the episode where Wallowitz got to throw out the first pitch of the baseball game and he did it using the Mars rover robot. And then afterwards we actually sort of befriended the executive producer. Peter Chekos. Peter Chekos, yep. And so we got to go onto the set and we got to sit in Sheldon's spot. You got to sit in the actual seat and then we got to have pizza and backstage. Backstage with, with a couple like, of Yeah, Hard Wallowitz and, the, and um, um, Raj. Raj. We loved that special. show and yes. so that was a really cool experience. And we watch it every night. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most amazing game in the world. This is my favorite game from my childhood of all time. And kids nowadays have no idea. They have no idea. They have no idea. Oh my god. They have all these fancy 3D games and Minecraft and building worlds and they're so sophisticated and no, give me a good old point and click, pixelated little animated thing. This is the best. No idea if we're gonna be able to get this to work because it is a I it is from nineteen ninety four. That's just <laughs> so nostalgic looking at that little CD. Anything else? Uh, we run out of magic in the magic red suitcase. So packing gear. Packing gear! Packing bubble wrap! Gear. Have you heard they're developing bubble wrap that will no longer pop? <gasps> Blasphemy. Right? Why? Well, been fun. Thank it's you so much fun. for inviting me. <laughs> yes, hopefully we do another one of these one day and hopefully it won't be two years before oh, please no, we see you there. Actually, no, we're coming over for Christmas. I've certainly enjoyed finally getting to see your library no. because um, I know how much it's meant to you and seeing you take this room that was a very nice room to start with but has it turned was white. It, it was white. It was white. With a gray carpet. And this has just become a magical place. I come in here and sit every day and sit and read and it's just it's just a magical place that you've transformed and I know how hard you work because I watched all your videos <laughs> of you refinishing the floor and painting on the ceiling yes. and I would never have had the patience for it. But when I walked in and saw it live it was it was magical. So oh, thank you. All right. All right. So with that, remember, be kind, be curious, and, and be, be effective. effective. Bye! Bye! <laughs>
for the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes you show the floor. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. There's post filming. <laughs> if you'd like to be part of the... This is the fun part of filming. I do this all the time. 